for. How amazing to hear that anthem. And one thing the wind is good for, which is the flags fluttering in the wind. Now, no time to uh, no time to relax here as we move on to the next of our finals. This is the uh, under-19 women's pairs final between, in lane one, the uh, individual neutral athletes, in lane two, Greece, in lane three, Australia, in lane four, Romania, in lane five, France, and in lane six, Germany. And we're underway here and already into the first few hundred meters. And uh, the early leaders, it is the Romanian crew, just in the first few strokes, uh, off to the quickest start, rating 39 strokes per minute. The Greek and Australian crews up at the 43, 40 stro uh, four strokes per minute. Uh, so they're matching them on uh, boat speed at the moment as they settle into the first few hundred metres here. It's uh, all the action in the centre of the course with Romania leading it out just ahead then of Greece in second place. The Australians in third as uh, we watch the footage from overhead. Yeah, great start here for the Romanians here. Uh, Skataru and Tivadariu in the center lane. All of these athletes have raced this morning once already in their A, B semi-finals. They've earned and achieved their place here in the A final. And now this is the one. They've got one final race down this track to try and get their hands on a medal here at the World Championships to become the best in the world. Half a length currently to the Romanians. The Australians here, Jackson and Richardson, pressing hard uh, against the Greeks here and the individual neutral athletes there. That's the lanes to your left-hand side, Romania. On the right-hand side, we've got France and Germany uh, fighting it out for the minor places towards the back. But currently, in this early stage of the race, it's all about Romania. Absolutely. The wind uh, gusts have dropped down a little bit, so nice rolling conditions here for the women's pair final. Uh, having raced earlier on, uh, they were made that quick turnaround to get back up or shorten program of course because of the weather that is affecting us tomorrow so that's why we're seeing semi-finals and finals racing here the Romanians just about half a length now but uh, very little between the other three crews from the individual neutral athletes Greece and Australia in second third and fourth respectively and uh, in these smaller boats, we saw it throughout uh, the week and in the, even in the semi-finals that we saw earlier on, the lane, uh, the uh, details can change uh, over the space of a couple of strokes. The Australian crew, you can see overhead footage there, the Australian crew having to make an adjustment because their blades were just coming up to clip over the side of the uh, lane that they're in. So they're very much over on the right-hand side of their lane. They're having to compensate. And every time you have to do a little compensation like that, it slows the boat down. And that's why they've now booked move back into fourth position so they're going to have to recover from this to see if they can get back on level terms with the Greek pair and also the crew from individual neutral athletes to get back into medal contention so that's unfortunate to see there but uh, they're a strong pair Jackson and Richardson and we saw them roll very well during the week and I'm sure that they can get back into contention here. Yeah they won their semi-final this morning against Greece who line up in the lane next to them. Quick look over the shoulders there of both Jackson and Richardson just to make sure that they're still in this race but they are being led out currently by the Greeks in silver medal position France also coming right back up here they were second to Romania and actually probably closest on time I think yeah 735.66 that was quicker than the Australians winning in the second AB semi-final so suspect France will be up here in contention for the medals uh, the individual neutral athletes there Kavalenka and Darakovets in lane number one they're still running in bronze medal position currently the Greeks in, uh, in silver through the thousand meters though it was the individual neutral athletes that just pipped them to the timing post um, and actually if you look at this angle I think that is indeed correct silver medalists currently uh, the individual neutral athletes on the outside lane but the Greeks going for a real push here uh, Papiano, Dimitra and Christina uh, are really pushing hard they're moving together here to try and overhaul the outside lane the individual neutral athletes gosh the Australians I think have just been really struggling with their steering Richie and it's impacting the way that they're moving through the, the, the course of this race. So unfortunate because we were expecting them to be in the mix of the medals and maybe in the second half they can recover. Uh, experience of course racing in the eight last year now making it into the pair and an impressive week for them but just off the pace as we said affected by the steering. No doubt about the uh, leading three crews there and if anything uh, the Romanian crew push on again. They're doing their best to shake off uh, the chasing pack and down to 750 to go 
We're watching the crews start to lift it up now. The Greek crew up at 37 strokes per minute. Uh, the individual neutral athletes as well responding up at 36. So these two in lanes one and two now pushing on. And it looks like the uh, pair from uh, the new individual neutral athletes pushing on into the silver medal position just ahead of Greece at the moment. But this Romanian pair out in front, amazing. Yunela, Elena, Skataru and Gabriela Tivadaru, Dariu are just, they look like such an accomplished pair. Do you believe that this is actually their first world championships? They're both debutantes here at the World Rowing Under-19 Championships and they are rowing so well out in front. 32 strokes a minute, very contained um, and just giving them all the time they need to respond to any pushes here coming from the back of the pack. Greece are now starting to shift through the individual neutral athletes on the outside lane but they have to take it up to 36 to try and achieve that they're moving into silver medal position but here come france richie this could be the french is uh, the french team's first medal on home water here at this championships they're starting to push back now on australia they've got to pick off both australia and the neutral athletes to move up through onto the podium but uh, in the small boats it is absolutely possible yeah, and we've seen this French crew impressive in the heats with one of the fastest times earlier on, and they might have a sprint finish to come back and challenge for the medals here. The Greek pair have gone very early, 37 strokes per minute, 500 to go. They lifted it and passed out the pair from individual neutral athletes who are in the silver medal position. And Australia now are in striking distance of that bronze medal. They have done a little bit of a recovery, but I think they might run out of water here. The Romanians dishing it out here, a beautiful soft hand approach. They look so fluid when they are uh, rowing here and no, don't look like any other uh, uh, crew going to come near them. Not under any pressure at all in full control of the race here. But the medals are for silver and bronze is really on now between Greece, uh, the individual neutral athletes and maybe the fast finishing French crew. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. France just off the pitch there to the right-hand side. Romania looking so unflustered. Tivadariu and Skaturu surely have to be our gold medalists and world champions here in this under-19 events, but nothing sure about the rest of the podium positions. Greece is so used to being world champions in this event, but they're not further back. This new combination now on the fight for the podium. The individual neutral athletes to their left here, Kavalenka and Dara Kavets are in lane one trying to fight Australia. Australia now coming through Greece. Could we see a silver medal performance here from Australia in the final closing moments? It's going to be Romania for gold, clear water back, but the Greeks will take silver, and I think a photo finish for bronze between Australia and the individual neutral athletes. And we'll wait to see. Our camera is certainly not on the line here. Oh, a capsize from the individual neutral athletes over the line. They gave so much to that that they've ended up in the water. Oh, this is just absolutely... Oh, this is breathtaking. So it was gold for Romania. It was then silver to Greece and then Australia in bronze medal position, beating out the individual neutral athletes by just a whisker there in... Uh, it, well, yeah, it was 731.16 to Australia, 731.29 to the individual neutral athletes. And there are your medalists, gold to Romania, silver to Greece, and Australia sneaking a bronze in the final closing moments. What a heroic performance.